Action Blocks was released by Google a few weeks ago now, and it's a very interesting application. There's a lot of different things that you can do with it, and it was originally created for accessibility, so people who just need to tap on a certain thing and um, can get access to that very quickly. But anyone can use it. You don't even have to enable like ex accessibility options or anything like that. You just download the Action Blocks app, which um, you can download on almost any Android phone, um, as long as it's you know somewhat recent in the past four years maybe. So I just want kind of wanted to go through like what exactly you can do with it because I just think that it's a very very cool application. There's so many different things you can do with it. It's it's for everyone. Everyone can make use out of this somehow. So when you first get this first screen here, it says set up action blocks and you can create a new action block. So that's what I'm going to do here. And it just gives you some common actions you can do and then you can create your own. So basically anything that you can ask Google Assistant to do, you can create an action block for. So when you create an action block, you write out what you would ask Google Assistant to do. And then you can put that tile or block onto the home screen of your Android phone. It's like a widget. You can tap on it and then it automatically does that. So I'm just going to kind of go through how um, this all works. So for common options, let's just say we click on play video. So it gives you a little example here, play cat videos on YouTube. So that's what it would do, and then it goes to your um, YouTube app, and then it plays that kind of stuff. But say that I want to create um, my own. So say I just say, um, uh, open my YouTube subscriptions like that and then you can test the action to see if it actually works so you can or you can also enable or disable always speak action out loud I could just kind of like to keep that off because I don't really want it to say it all the time um, but test action and it brings a Google assistant and then there we go it it went right to my uh, subscriptions and then down here it says return to action blocks so it'll just let you do it um, but as you can see this is my subscriptions this isn't just home so I it just, just didn't just open up the YouTube app which is super uh, super great so then say yeah it works you hit yes test completed so then you can hit next and then you can create uh, you can add an image for it that will go on to your home screen so you can either get some random image you can find something online like say you get the YouTube app icon you can put it in there or you can take a picture or something or they have a few little symbols here that you can use just for a few different things like a start a remote you know kind of your things that you would use for actions so say I just use this heart one that makes the most sense because it's stuff that I am subscribed to and probably videos that I want to watch and you can name it what it looks like on your home screen so you, I can just name it like subscriptions or something like that right save action block and then it just kind of says what exactly you need to do it's just like a widget so you can either add it out automatically or you just hold it down and then you can place it on your home screen um, then once it's on your home screen you can change the size just like most widgets you can make it that the, the this whole front home screen if you really want to or you can make it super small not quite as small as apps I think this is the smallest it can get um, so as you can see here compared to this folder or the Play Store app here it is a little taller but it occupies the same amount of space so say it's just right here now I gotta do is just click on it brings up a little assistant prompt and then it brings you to it it takes about five seconds from clicking on it to getting where you want to go it obviously depends too um, on how fast your phone is and um, if you're connected to the internet or whatever if, if you need to do that kind of stuff but um, yeah that, that's just uh, an example so let's say we go back into action box it says right here you can manage your blocks in place. It's placed on your home screen. If you take it off, then it, it tells you that it's gone. So if just to remove it, just bring it up just like any other app or widget. So we go back to action blocks and it says not placed. So it tells you whether or not it's on there. And then if you want to, you can place it again um, or you can test it, change it, edit it, or whatever. You can create multiple action blocks as well. So um, let's just say set alarm, right? This is another simple one that you can do. Set an alarm for, uh, let's see, in my case, probably 
a.m. tomorrow. Uh, take that off for me. Test action. See if it actually does it. And then there you go. You can conf confirm it or cancel it or whatever. And this can the action blocks can be great for um, like grandparents or something like that who just want a few simple actions so they can oh okay open up this messaging app so they can message my daughter or something like that that could be great for them or it could be just great for little things that you do with your assistant all the time so you can turn off lights and all of that stuff allows you to edit um, lights and thermostats and all that, and that all, all, all of your home stuff um, and you can pretty much do the same thing here just by putting it on your home screen. So then here, like with other um, actions, besides just like the common ones, this is where you can get, you know, more complex with it. So you can um, like make a reminder or something. Like you can just tap on it and then you can just type in a reminder instead of having to ask the assistant, oh, remind me to bake cupcakes tomorrow, that kind of a thing, you know. Or you can just have it open an app. So this is what I think would be good for some people who just need to like, get to a certain thing like say you want to like it says here open the photos app you can open up photos or you can open up like a certain album or something like that uh, of photos that you have and then of course you can just create custom ones so anything that the assistant can do so even like um, play a game of Mad Libs because Mad Libs is I don't know if that's capitalized or not is just part of a Google Assistant so then you just hit next test it and there you go it, it starts playing Mad Libs even though you don't even have the app installed it's just a Google Assistant thing which is awesome so I don't really want to play this for now but um, you can then just add this to your home screen so symbol library uh, let's see is there a game one Oh, same with uh, just looking at the camera. You can have it open the camera or take a video or something like that. It, it, there are just tons of cool little options. Uh, let's just say I do this. Mad Libs. Save action block. Next. Hold it down. There you go. You can play Mad Libs whenever you want. <laughs> if you really want to. And then, of course, it's just not placed for any of these. So yeah, you can just create a custom one. You don't have to do anything on that is listed on here. Th these are just a few good options. And then, like I said, there are home control options. So you can turn on lights that you may have in your house. Set the temperature of your thermostat if you have a smart thermostat. Um, or, you know, turn them off at night. You can also do, like, routines, um, such as morning routines. Um, so you can have the... If you set up a routine in Google Assistant that's like a morning one, say, you can have it set an alarm for a certain time, and then once the alarm goes off, it will read you the news and maybe turn on a light or turn up the thermostat or turn down the thermostat or whatever you want. You can add one of those routines in here as well. So, like, turn on lights or whatever. Yeah, it, like, like it says here, it requires that you already have... Um, or smart home products having your device. You just have to set that up in the Google Home app. But um, again, like I said, if someone sets this up, say you have uh, grandparents who you get a tablet or uh, an Android phone or something like that, if you set up um, a lock in their house or lights or something like that and you just want them to quickly access it, you can add one of these action blocks on their home screen. They can just tap it and then it just works. It It's it's a super cool idea. It's not it's like extremely complicated, but it's just, it's just a great idea. So I just thought I would share that. Um, and because I, I feel like uh, a lot of people could get a ton of use out of this. So... Um, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in to Tea Time.